Hey guys, Chris here, AKA Warchild V1, and we are back with some more My Summer Car. All right, so first we need to take a shower, because I left off, I think we were hungry, thirsty, and dirty. That is loud. So I think we were hungry, thirsty, and dirty, and uh, I took care of the hunger and the thirst and all that stuff off camera, but uh, there we go. We're a lot cleaner now. And, uh, God, my fatigue is way up, but I don't think it's nighttime yet, so I say we go ahead and work on the car a little. Where's the sun? Oh, it's midday. Why is my fatigue up so much? I'm going to have to learn how to brew coffee. I hear, I hear flies. Um, yeah. Okay, I still have, yes, I have a backpack mod. Good. All right, so we've done the left side of the car. Let's go ahead and get to work on the right side of the car. Um, yeah. I'm excited. We're getting somewhere. I apologize that it didn't record the mic last time at the end of the video. It, you know, I wish I could tell you why. Dude, I'm tired of hearing that buzz. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't record it. It makes zero sense to me. Oh good, there is an alternator. I was like, I could have swore I mounted an alternator to that. Yeah, I did. All right, so I think if I pull out that, I hold this and press that. Yes. All right, well, let's uh, let's get going. I'm gonna start grabbing things and doing things and stuffing things. And we're getting there. So maybe by the end of this video, I'll have a car that starts. And that'd be cool. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, three videos in. Sometimes I get it done on the first video, sometimes I get it done on the second. Well, it looks like this time we're getting it done on the third, but you know what? I think that's fair because it has been a long time since I have played this. It has been a long time. Tomorrow Subnautica releases on the PS4. I'm super stoked about that. I really am. I don't think I'm going to record it. I don't know. I mean, if a bunch of people say, yeah, record it, then I will, but the thing is, I'm... I'm just trying to, you know, take it easy, go easy on myself with that kind of thing. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to overdo it and then get tired of it or something. I never got tired of it. I just got to where it was a thing where, like, I just needed a break because of how much other stuff I have to do, you know, in life. That and I wanted to be able to just relax and play games and not worry about videos. And damn it, that's what I did. It was great. Just making sure. All right, it is just one bolt. Just checking. Right there in the little uh, grease dirt area. <laughs> grease dirt area, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, man, whatever you say. Size nine. God, it's so much nicer having this mod. You know? So I've been going through hell getting these videos edited and like the last video, part two, probably looks like I didn't even have to edit it um, because there wasn't much to cut out. So it looks like there was no editing that needed to be done. Dude, these videos are coming out all wonky, man. I'm having to like redo the audio on all of them. Something with uh, AMD and it's not that the AMD recording is crap, it's that this game doesn't play at a constant frame rate, as don't most. Um, therefore, by the end of the gameplay, the audio is all out of whack when I put it in Adobe Premiere. Some programs don't even do that. Like, if I just play the video, uh, it actually, I think, does it then, too. I was going to say, doesn't do it then. I think it does, actually, with the way this records, but... I have to manually go and fix all that, and that's all right. I'll deal with it, you know? I think it's all right. Um, I'm just thinking. I guess I could go ahead and put these half shafts in, and uh, that'll help me decide where to line up the engine. That'd be good, because uh, here shortly we're going to be dropping the engine in here the, uh, the redneck way. That'll be fun. I always enjoy doing it that way. I needed to go put the fish trap out. 
So we can start getting some renewable food, right? In fact, what we could do, let's just do it right now. Hold on. We're going to make sure that I can ride a mini bike for one because it's been forever. And, uh, and we'll try to carry that and ride it at the same time. I think we can do that. All right. So I kind of want to put that within arm's reach. All right. So we need to flip this valve. There it is, there it is. Fuel tap. We just kind of enabled fuel to go to the fuel line. Come on, stand up. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We want to mount myself. Wow, it started first try. Damn, this is loud. I need to turn down my headset, I think. All right. There we go. Um, let's just do that. There we go. Hey, this thing's still idling. It used to die by now. If I left it knocked over on its side, it would, like, die. <laughs> I put it in gear and it died. I don't want to talk, it's so loud. Sorry if I just yelled in your ear. Yeah, I just figured, uh, just leave it in gear and let off that clutch. That'll kill it. All right. Um, all right, so we, we've done the whole front of the car. Did I tighten this bolt? I sure did. All right, let's do the back of the car, man. All right. Let's get this rear control arm all in place. I was going to say, is it even going to want to sit right if I don't... That's actually upside down. That's, uh, like this. There. Go where you belong. There we go. Beautiful. What size are you? Damn it, I keep standing up. Size 12. This car is starting to bounce uncontrollably. It's, it's scaring me. I hope I didn't just grab a 13. It sure looks like I might have. Son of a bitch. I grab the wrong ones every once in a while, and I, I'm just not very good at that, I guess, grabbing these wrenches. I need to hurry up and get the spring and shock on here. Because this thing is going crazy. First, let's just get the spring on, and maybe it won't go nuts anymore. Yeah, way less craziness going on. So I remember this was actually being a pain in the ass on the other side. I actually, I remember, I, I remember cutting out some of the footage because of how long it took me to mount it. Yeah, it's upside down and all, but it shouldn't matter. That's right side up. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Hello? <laughs> there it is. Not sure what I just did there. But I found the spot, I just kind of screwed it all up. Let's try that again. It was like right here. That's where it goes. Oh my god. Oh my god, it worked. It's a size 6. You know, I'd be smart to just take this with me, wouldn't I? Let's just do that. There we go. It's a size 6 with like, I think, two screws down here. And then one screw in the top. Come on, bud. Man, we are just getting somewhere. We are really getting somewhere. Of course, from outside, it doesn't want to tell me the size, right? Why would it? Size 12. We're almost there. That's almost what size shoe I wear. Not quite. I wear a 13. In case anyone here is thinking about buying me a pair of shoes. <laughs> No, don't buy me shoes, please. That was, that was a joke. I don't want the shoes. I just don't want them. I have my own shoes, man. 
I need to go buy some new shoes. I'm wearing, uh, well, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I don't know what brand I'm wearing. I'm wearing shoes that I don't like, though. So I'm going to go buy some dang shoes. I'm going to go buy them dang old white shoes, man. Tell you what. That's the size for the adjusting screw. What size actually mounts it into place? We'll have to figure that out. We'll worry about adjusting them and straightening them later. That was part of the update also. Apparently they could go back out of whack when you save and quit. And uh... Damn it, stop. Size 12, all right. Yeah, so they shouldn't be able to go out of whack anymore. Man, it's been so long since I've played this. I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's kind of relaxing, putting together a car. Way easier than real life. So it's nice too. Dude, this car is ready for an engine, but I think I got to put the tires. <gasps> we don't have tires. Let me rethink what I'm doing here. We don't have... Huh. <laughs> I didn't think about that. It didn't even come with rims or anything. Oh, dude. Alright, let's... let's see what this is going to run me. Thanks for the wiggle, dog. Thanks for the wiggle. Um, what, what? Is that them? Are these the stock wheels? Dude, um, there's hubcaps? Huh. Okay, uh, that's gonna be a setback. I mean, I don't like keep them in my closet for some stupid reason, do I? Oh, yeah. I should really worry about this thing. Here, I'm gonna sit it, like, right here just to remind me every day that I need to go get to work on making that. Let's, uh, let's grab that and, uh, cup. Huh. Well, that's not good, dude. That's not good. I, uh... By the way, my mom's creepy boyfriend is playing a game. I need to... I need to fix that, don't I? How do I... That button. Found it! Okay. Um... So... Sorry, I had to stop my dog. Um, well, damn, dude. Do I maybe have some rims in the barn? I mean, even if they don't have tires on them, I gotta go buy tires, but... At least they used to come with crappy tires, you know? Like, that you could at least drive for now. I'm wondering, because, I mean, we have the hubcaps. I don't think those were the stock wheels I was looking at. Um, here. Here. Let's go down to the barn and take a look. Huh. Can I do this? Whee! I can. Uh-uh. Those tires look like they got an upgrade. Oh, that's a dually now. Damn. So the trailer's nicer. Huh. 
Well, shit, man. Just let off the clutch. That's all you have to do. Um... I don't know if my retarded engine thing is going to work without uh, tires on it. Unless I could find something just the perfect height. Mom, Dad, do y'all hide tires in... Of course not. That's where the gun used to be back when I had the gun mod. I mean... And then the pantry, that'd be the perfect place to keep your tires. You keep them in the sauna? I seriously don't expect to find them anywhere. I'm just... Nope. Dude. Finish headbutt my way out here. Alright. No, no wheels or tires. That's... That's going to be a setback because that means I'm not going to have the money to get my car running. Damn, man. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I used this. I wonder if I sit the engine on this. If that'll raise it up to the perfect height. There's got to be something I can do. Yes, yes. Everyone wants their poop sucked. I don't like sucking poop if I don't have to, but I'm going to have to. Can I just, like, put this there? No, it doesn't. It doesn't like that. Let go of the stupid tow rope. Why do I have a tow rope? Alright, so gas tank is a, is a nil. What about this gas tank? The jerry can. Can I just like... Eh? I mean... We could try it. I don't think it's gonna work. I might... The radiator might be the perfect height. So I gotta figure out... Uh, yeah, it aims this direction. Let's uh... If I could just find something that's the perfect height to sit this on... Let's uh, do a uh, leaning forward thingy. Finish headbutt. Is not where it's supposed to sit. And neither is that. Um, I kind of got an idea, but it might be more effort than it's worth. Well, first, let's just, uh, Oh, it's so close, but yet so far. Stop getting on top of the dang car. So close, yet so far, right? Man, that might work. It's like glitching telling me size 13. Can you people quit calling me? Don't you know I'm trying to install an engine in my car? What? The soy to thought, yes, your dad's drunk. That's great. All right, can I do this? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think that really went to that. Damn it. Um, all right. So what I'm talking about that will be more whatever than it's worth. Hey, let's just drink some water so we're not gonna die. I'm surprised my stress isn't up any higher than it is finding out that I have no rims. Um, so what I was talking about is let's like jack up the front of the car, right? If shit don't fit right, what about lifting it? Look! Eh? 
<gasps> Holy Jesus Christ. All right, wait. First, you gotta get the engine out of there, cause... Cause there's no way. <gasps> it is gonna work. Size 11, size 11. Don't fall asleep, dude. Don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. So you used to die from being too tired and all that. But, uh... Pretty sure that now, instead of dying... Alright, only that one is lined up, but I don't really care. Don't touch anything. What the f What?! What? Milk, sugar, and sausages. I gotta remember that. Yes, Grandma. That's new. That didn't used to be a thing. Oh man, this was totally lined up there for a minute and then shit went wrong. Because there was a bolt here. There's not now. Oh man. Don't! Ella! Fuck, I'm so sorry. I mean, this shouldn't work at all. Not what I'm doing. There's nothing under here to lift the engine up. Huh. Because it was there. It was totally there for a minute earlier. It'd probably just be easier to do it the way you're supposed to do it, but... Okay, so, new game plan. We're gonna jack up the front of the car. As if it had tires on it. I don't know, that might be high enough, right? That doesn't necessarily have to be off the ground for it to be like it has tires because suspension has, yeah, I don't have to explain it. All right, do that. Um, flip this upside down. This is gonna be our uh, rest for the engine. I think I'm gonna have to kill a dog. Perfect. That's how it goes, right? It's there. It is there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. I didn't expect that to really work. I don't know why this one's not. Lighting up. I almost don't care why that one's not lighting up, seeing as how it kind of worked. What? There it went, there it went, there it went! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I have no idea how this is working. I'm sorry I yelled at the dog on the mic. I didn't think about that till just now. Dude, this somehow just worked. Alright, so that's all you have to do. Right there. Bam! Seen it here first. I doubt it. Someone else may have done it. All right. Um, I mean, milk, sausages, and... Shit, how do I know what Grandma wanted? Milk, sausages, and... Hmm. 
I'm not quite sure what grandma wanted. Milk, sausages, and something. Doubt it was pizza. I want pizza, though. I could go for some pizza. I'm hungry. Obviously. Alright, uh, let's just kind of... Shit, sorry. Fire. Uh... Dude, for real? That's all I wanted. That's all I asked for. Say in size 8, I'm not sure how much I believe it, but I will, I will try. Dude, that's so nice. All it took was a beer, a beer case, a floor jack, and some know-how. That is good stuff. Oh, it doesn't even use a screw on this side. It just kind of hooks onto this piece right here. Hooks onto the metal. All right. Okay. Um. Well, I really wish I had tires for my car. Even just, even just rims. Like, how do I know which rims are the legal rims? Because only some of them are legal. I guess it's these. I guess it's these cheapest ones right here that cost too much. What I'm going to do... We are going to sleep. What day is it? Tuesday? They're open. We're going to sleep. Then we're going to go to Timo Shop and spend more money than we have. Getting Grandma some stuff and all of that. Um, you know what? It's not that time yet, though. Let's wait until we're, like, passing out tired. Because at the moment... the moment, I'm still okay. And... I don't know. I had other good reasons. Um, I'm still okay. And... If I sleep right now, it won't be morning yet or something, you know. All right. Come on, tell me the size. So I'm pretty sure now you can use the ruler that comes in the in the wrench set and the spanner set to uh, measure the the tire tread depth on your tires, like with that ruler right there. I think that's pretty cool. If you have tires. It used to be it came with tires, but they were bad. Before that, it's, so you couldn't even replace your tires, but it used to come with uh, tires that were bad. So, like, you couldn't pass inspection, you had to go buy new tires. But now, it doesn't come with rims or tires, which is a scary thing because the, the auto inspector here, the car inspector for the state, for the whatever, for the Finland, um, doesn't allow you to have any aftermarket rims, I don't think, or anything like that. I may have to actually look it up to make sure I get the right thing the first time. But I, I don't see why it wouldn't be those rims, right? The cheapest ones, the ones that look like basic, like they should have hubcaps on them, those should be the ones, so. Maybe I won't look it up. I'd prefer to not look up anything if I could. I can't believe I mounted the engine the way I did. Those are backwards, but... Yeah, I was going to say, they should just let me jam it in there. Ah, seven. Damn it. There we go. Man, we are getting there. So I just uh, played Call of Duty Blackout for the first time ever. After it was bought for me by an awesome friend slash subscriber. Met him on some Dark Souls playing stuff, and now he just keeps buying me shit. He's just so awesome like that. But I'm not asking for it, I swear I tell him no. Ask him, I tell him no, and he's just so insistent on being a cool dude, I guess. I don't know. He's awesome. His name's Ken. 
It was Ken. Oh God, I'll butcher it. Like Ken Curry Sushi. <laughs> that wasn't really it. It was like Ken Curry Sushi or some something. I always call him Curry Sushi, but uh, he's now Kenny KK and all the new stuff. And he's awesome. Dude's just rich, man. He has more money than you would ever imagine. And he loves the gift of giving. Even though his car broke and he has to buy a new car. He's over here buying me games and giving me money to help me out with my car. Like, is that amazing or what? I would have never asked for it. I don't, I don't like asking for handouts. Have I before? Of course. Who hasn't? But... You know, I've asked my parents for help with things here and there, but I don't like asking anybody for help with anything like that. Give me a check, give me a check, give me a check, give me a check. But anytime I do get the help, it's like, oh, I'm not going to say no. I'm going to thank you and love you from then on. All right, we got that. Fatigued. Of course I'm fatigued. Dude, we're getting a lot done even while in this high sleep situation. Let's figure I'll hang out until nighttime. All right. I guess I have to go do something about that. All righty. We'll see how long the silence lasts. The dang dogs, man, I swear. They're like, ooh, someone's putting mail in your mailbox. Woof, woof. <laughs> like, damn it, dogs. Mainly one of the dogs. Of course, you know how it is. Like, one is the one that causes all the issues, and the other just kind of... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll bark, too. <laughs> That's how... The instigator and the... And the... I don't know. Instigator one and the lead one. The one that's just kind of led by the instigator. How it goes. Dude, I have trouble with this every time. Problem is, I don't remember where it goes anymore. So it's like somewhere in here. I should get a check mark, right? All right, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Um, there's another one that I have trouble with every time. Oh, but I already did the other one. That's literally the only one left that I always have trouble with. Besides the exhaust, but I think everyone has trouble with the exhaust. Um, no. Let's see. Let me let me take a quick look. I think it mounts right there next to this. By the way, that's a size eight. Let's just handle it. That's the electronics. They just called electronics, but that's like I guess an ignition coil. It's the ignition coil that powers the distributor that runs the spark plug. Yeah, that one's not really hard once you know what it is <laughs> um this other one i feel like it mounts right next to that i could be wrong though let's uh let's see i feel like that's where it goes though like right in here like right there no but look it goes to nothing if it goes right there in which case, then it's like, well, does it go on this back wall? No, because this is not right at all. This looks like it goes to nothing, dude. Uh, oh, shit. It sits way lower than I thought. That's all it is. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's the only screw. Dude. This car is mostly done. This is so cool. Um... Gear linkage. This goes just like so. You're gonna let some gear linkage bounce you around like that? For real? Size five, she says. Now, I do always have trouble figuring out where each one of the screws is for the gear linkage. There's like hidden screws behind this half shaft. 
There's one. I do need to remember to tighten down the half shaft. There's another. That could be all of them, but without being able to see them, I can't really tell. One, two, three was the nut up there. And I think that's it. All right, let's go ahead and tighten down these, these CV shafts. It says size nine. So many little things that's like, dude, if I don't do this now, I will forget. Oh, the radiator. I didn't even tighten it, did I? Or did I? Dun, dun, dun. Dude, I don't even know. Huh. I guess we could just take a look, see, huh? Yeah, sure. That's tightened down. That's tightened down. I did. Okay. Um, what's next? A gas tank. Let's do it. I don't remember how many this is either. Or what size. Ooh, since the car's like not up in the air, it's gonna make this a lot harder. Since it's on the ground, I can't really look all the way under it. Damn, if I didn't already put so much on it, I would say let's just... Can I? Can I do this? Is this a thing? Um, how do I... I bet I can. How did I... Like that. Like a glove. Sometimes it's just easier if the car is inside there over the... Yeah. Yeah, dude, this is a thing. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. It worked. Hope the car's not getting too beat up doing this. Oh, wow, it's actually rolling on the... Oh, wow. Is rolling on the uh, the discs and the drums. All right, cool, man. Look at this, dude. What size are you? Look how easy this is gonna be. Hell, I don't think I've ever done it like this. And Chris, you are just a thinker. Why doesn't someone just marry you right up? Oh wait, someone marry me? No. If I could just figure out how to get rid of the flies without buying bug spray. Then we would totally be good and golden. Look at this. This is the screw that's really easy to forget about. But since I could see it. Does that sound just in my headset? Ah, that's funny. All right. I can hear my computer fans. <laughs> I'm like, is it, what's this buzzing sound? It's the damn computer fans. Look at that. If you don't tighten that one, then all your fuel just leaks right out. Man, dude, that just made that easy. There we go. Nice and straight. Let's uh get this the hell out of the way. No, 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 you're not allowed to make banging sounds. There. 
Let's just put the gas filler tube right here. No screws required, kind of like the tail lights. No screws required. Man, we are getting so close, dude. Let's uh, let's do it. Start mounting brake lines and shit. A size eight. Let's just get the damn toolbox, bring it inside. In the morning, we're going to get milk cookies and oh i'm in trouble because i don't know what i'm supposed to get milk sausages she want milk sausages and i remember it was three things i like never buy besides sausages two things i like never buy Shit, you think grandma's gonna get upset if I don't get it? Cause I don't know what I'm supposed to get anymore, dude. Yeah, let's find this. Let's find the actual spot where I'm supposed to be doing this. This line, right here, that's it, uh, five. That's for the e-brake to work. Milk sausages. I could totally cheat and just go watch my footage. I may have to do that. I may have to do that. And no, this car's not going to be running on this video, I guess. Good stuff, dude. Oh my god. The level of detail in this game just amazes me. Not even like... It's, it's not detailed as detailed as a, a real car, but... But dude, like, it's the most detailed car I've seen in a video game. Um, clutch lining and brake lining. Let's get all this stuff done. Yeah, it's more detailed than any other damn car I've seen in a video game. So I'll give them that shit. Seven. Man. Subnautica. Subnautica. It's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I didn't think so. Same size for brake lining. Hell, brake lining and clutch lining are like really the same thing. They just go to different things. Hell, brake pads and clutch pads are probably very similar materials. They're just shaped a little bit different. That's all. And brakes are way cheaper to replace than clutches. <laughs> That's the other part. That's the other major difference. All right, let me just look at it from this side. I know I saw the screw right there. Oh my God. There we go, look at this. Look at that. That one, that one. Gotta remember to do it at each wheel, basically. At each hub, at each brake. All four of these. And then at all four wheels. And then we'll go ahead and just call it a day. I think, um, yeah, I think a lot. 
That I do. Should be like right up in here somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. Well, I'll find it in a minute. Alright, that's most of it. I can't believe I've stayed... There it is. I can't believe I've stayed fatigued for so long without passing out. It used to, like, kill you when you got fatigued. Now you just get passed out. I think that's because if you're in jail, that was a way to break out of jail, was to sit there and punch the air forever until you get super fatigued. And then you die, and then you're not in jail. Yeah, you still owe jail time, but... That was a way out of prison. Jail. Whatever. Thinking. I guess we're gonna get into wiring next. And mounting the dash but all the main mechanical parts besides like exhaust that's not a mechanical part all the main mechanical parts are actually on the car besides the doors and trunks and bonnet so it's amazing that is amazing um, I think we deserve a couple beers for all this out of our engine mount All right, who doesn't want to drink a couple beers right before bed? Helps you sleep. All right, let's eat a sausage. Um, stress levels are up there, but I don't really care. Fuck. Not tonight, but... Not tonight, not happening, because you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Now I gotta get all fatigued and shit again. We're gonna go ahead and end this one right here. I'm gonna go watch this shitty TV for a little bit once I find it. Oh, where's my lantern? At least you can see a little bit because the bathroom light's on. Can't even find the lantern. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here, guys. Stick around, there's a lot more to come. There's the TV, I can see it now. Oh, that'll make me tired. So please comment, like, and sub if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching!